Hi, Zachary Stocks here for Oregon Black Pioneers, Oregon's only statewide African-American historical society. To commemorate Oregon's birthday, I want to share two markers found at the Salem Pioneer Cemetery that illustrate our state's rich black heritage. Let's begin by going back to visit the Oregon that our state's first black immigrants found when they began arriving here in the mid 19th century. Beginning in the 1840s, Oregon's population, mostly concentrated in the Willamette Valley at the time, boomed. Wagon trains from Missouri brought tens of thousands of settlers to the Willamette Valley, where aspiring homesteaders hoped to claim a share of the area's rich agricultural lands for themselves and their families. Although they represented only about 3% of the migrants on the Oregon Trail, a handful of African Americans undertook the journey to Oregon during this time as well. Most were free people of color, but many were enslaved. No matter their legal status, though, all black pioneers who arrived here found that the Oregon Territory was openly hostile to their presence. Between 1840 and 1870, Oregon's provisional and territorial governments passed three laws excluding black people from the rights afforded to white settlers. The Oregon Constitution outlawed slavery, but also barred black people not already living in Oregon from entering or residing in the state, from owning real estate, from making contracts, or filing lawsuits. Although the exclusion laws went largely unenforced and were ultimately repealed, they sent a clear message. Black people were not welcomed in Oregon. Additionally, the main incentive for most overland migrants, free land, was not extended to black settlers. The Donation Land Act of 1850 offered 320 acres to any white male settler willing to live and work on the claim for four consecutive years. But blacks were explicitly prohibited from filing a land claim under the Donation Land Act. Despite these barriers, black migrants kept coming, and most eventually settled in the Willamette Valley. There, they became farmers, laborers, and contributing members of some of Oregon's earliest communities. This continued through well after the Civil War, when African Americans, all of them now legally free, sought new opportunities in the West. Salem's Pioneer Cemetery is the final resting place for many of the area's first black residents, among them Hiram Gorman, born in around 1835 in Missouri. Hiram was born into slavery and was left behind in Missouri when his mother Hannah and sister Eliza were taken to Oregon by their owner, John Thorpe, in 1844. Hiram served as a teamster, a wagon driver, for Union troops during the Civil War. At war's end, Hiram went west and in 1871 made it to Oregon where he reunited with his mother. He and his wife Georgia Ann lived at the corner of Liberty and Chemeketa Streets in Salem and were known for their beautiful garden. Hiram was hired to operate the steam-powered press of the Oregon Statesman, a job he held for the next 12 years. He died in Salem in 1888. Like those of many blacks interred in the cemetery, Hiram Gorman's burial place had no permanent headstone. Hiram's story was included in the online genealogical database created by the Friends of Pioneer Cemetery researchers, and it drew the attention of the local Sons of Confederate veterans. Members of Camp 1799 of the SCV, led by Larry Erion, erected a memorial marker for Hiram that was dedicated on Memorial Day 2002 as a testament to his Civil War service. Since there was no record of the location of Hiram's burial, the memorial marker was set in an aisle. Nonetheless, Hiram Gorman is now one of just a handful of blacks in the Pioneer Cemetery to have a headstone on the grounds to honor their life story. Fortunately, the Salem Pioneer Cemetery genealogical database brings those stories to life, making available information from the historical record online. In 2007, Oregon Black Pioneers, with the help of the Friends of Pioneer Cemetery, dedicated a memorial to the 43 known black individuals buried in the cemetery in marked and unmarked graves. The Oregon Black Pioneers marker is meant to honor the achievements of the first black residents of the Willamette Valley. Black pioneers labored in all of Oregon's traditional industries. Among the African Americans buried in this cemetery are loggers, students, railway workers, steamstresses, longshoremen, farmers, and more. Yet because of racism and inequality, their contributions to our state's heritage are seldom told. On February 14th, 
As we celebrate Oregon's admission to statehood by the Congress of the United States in 1859, it is important that we also remember the black pioneers who overcame tremendous discrimination to live, thrive, and contribute to Oregon's communities during a state's earliest days. Thank you.